Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. I hope you're having an awesome day. So about two thirds of the people who watch these videos aren't actually subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I gotta ask, what the heck are you waiting for? There's that subscribe button right there, right below the video. It's down there somewhere, I don't know. But <laughs> it doesn't cost you a penny and it does really help out uh, YouTube creators like me. So if you haven't yet, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, it is around the time of year when people are making New Year's resolutions, trying to uh, improve themselves, get into shape, uh, improve their diet, stuff like that. And you know, it's been a while since I've done a big protein supplement review. So I picked up a lot of uh, new flavors of bars that I haven't reviewed yet. So without any more stalling, I'm gonna jump right in and try some of these. Uh, let's start with the Quest bars. Uh, this is a Quest Peppermint Bark Bar. Now this is a limited edition uh, flavor that's only around in the holidays. So if it is after the holidays, I don't know, maybe you can find them in like a uh, uh, bargain bin or something like that. Cause... All right, so if we look at this, uh, the inside looks like it's got a candy coating and the inside it's got a little bit of chocolate in there. Hmm, okay. Now like any of the mint flavored things that I try, I'm always curious to know if they have like actual mint in them. And it doesn't look like there's mint or peppermint in this. <laughs> it's just natural flavoring. Still, the flavor isn't too bad. Like it's not quite as much like mouthwash as a lot of mint flavored things I've had. I'd give it a five or six out of 10. Not really the best, you know. Mm. Probably could have been a little bit better if it had actual mint or spearmint in it. Like most Quest bars, it is a little bit tough to chew. So maybe if you stick it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, it'd be a little bit softer. And next up, we have pumpkin pie. Another one that I'm looking forward to. So this is a pumpkin pie flavored bar. Now there's no pumpkin in here, but it does have actual cinnamon and actual spices in it. <laughs> so maybe it's gonna be a little bit better than that last one. Mmm, nice beige color. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> That's actually a really nice flavor. I think the use of actual spices really makes it a better flavor. Mmm. <laughs> So this is really a pumpkin spice uh, bar. This is like an eight out of 10. This is way better than almost any other Quest bar that I've had. Oh yeah. Yeah, if I see these on a shelf, I'm definitely picking them up. These are amazing. Ah. Oh. All right, number three in the lineup, mocha. Mocha chocolate chip, ooh. So despite this being a mocha flavored bar, <laughs> there is zero coffee in it. <laughs> plenty of chocolate, plenty of cocoa butter, but no, uh, no coffee. This one actually feels a little bit, a little bit more pliable. Ah, oh, it does smell like coffee, but kind of like coffee flavored candy. Like it doesn't have a whole lot of bitterness in the smell. And you can see the inside is studded with these like cocoa crisp things maybe. And an interesting, um, like an interesting texture to it. It's a little bit easier to chew than the last two. And yeah, you can taste a little bit of that bitterness from the chocolate. Kind of makes it taste like actual coffee. <laughs> Yeah, I really like coffee flavored uh, things. So this is probably a little bit biased on my part, but this is definitely like a seven, seven and a half out of 10. It's really up there. Ah, oh, that's delicious.
All right, next up we got chocolate hazelnut. Now I assume that they're going for like a Nutella uh, kind of flavor in this. We've got almonds, hazelnut, uh, cocoa. So we got all of the um, actual constituent parts in this. Ooh, got like big chunks of chocolate in it. And like big chunks of nuts too. <laughs> this one feels a little bit stiff. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is so hard to chew. Oh, no way. Mm -mm. This is like a workout. Oh my gosh. Not at all. It is so stiff. It's like chewing an eraser. <laughs> For the flavor, like, kind of get a hint of the nuttiness in there. And of course you do have, like, hazelnuts that are just stuck in there. It's not ground up or anything. Oh, it is so stiff though, that is so unpleasant. Like a two or a three out of ten, this is awful. Yeah, this is just painful. Oh. I can't even finish this bar. We're, yeah, no, it was awful. Quest, you guys gotta go back to the drawing board with that one. Like, I know that these guys are known for making bars that are a little bit tough to chew. And that's just unacceptable. Like, mm -mm. All right, moving on. Again, sticking with the um, nuts and chocolate. We got uh, peanut butter brownie smash. Oh man, just opening this up, you get like, wafted with this miasma of peanuts. <laughs> really heavy on the peanuts. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. It does smell a little bit like there's uh, some artificial peanut flavoring in there. So it does have peanuts and peanut flour. Ah, oh, yeah, much easier to chew. <laughs> Don't taste the chocolate too much. And um, honestly, the overwhelming flavor is this artificial peanut flavor, which is just terrible. Like, I know you can get peanut flavoring or peanut flavored syrups, and they're just so terrible. They're so awful. It's like, just use regular peanuts. They're so cheap. <laughs> like, why don't you just do that? <laughs> so yeah, the texture is way better for this one. Like, I can actually chew it. It's nice and soft. It's more like a brownie consistency, but the flavor is just not there. Three out of 10, four out of 10, not, no. This is, again, it's a big miss. Quest Bar, what are you doing? Like, usually they're a good standby, like good and reliable, but so many awful flavors. Now definitely what I think of when I think of low carb is a chocolate sprinkled donut. <laughs> I saw this on the shelf and I just burst out laughing. Like a chocolate donut low carb protein bar. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> it's actually covered in sprinkles. Oh, and it's a good like, a decent consistency, chocolate covered with this really soft inside. <laughs> I don't know how they did it, but they like captured the taste of a donut. <laughs> like it's definitely not as tasty as a donut, of course not, but <laughs> still, that's amazing, that's incredible. All right, Quest Bar, you redeemed yourself with this chocolate donut <laughs> uh, flavored protein bar. Seven out of 10, eight out of 10, at least. We're gonna say an eight out of 10 with this one. Another one that's just amazing. So that's it with the uh, Quest Bars. 
I'm gonna move on to the Kirkland brand, uh, Kirkland Signature Bars. Uh, but you can generally find them online for like a dollar or a dollar fifty per bar. So they're a little bit more cost effective in case you want, uh, you know, a low carb, high protein, uh, all natural bar that's not, it's a decent choice. So first up, we've got the Cookies and Cream Kirkland Signature Bar. Ha, huh. right off, I can tell you, this is sticky. Like really sticky. Kind of hard to unwrap. There we go. Got it. Oh, I can tell this is going to be difficult to chew. Well, it's not easy to chew, but it's not nearly as bad as that chocolate hazelnut quest bar. It's got kind of an odd grainy texture. Mm, I don't know. The flavor is actually really nice. It's very buttery. Like it's got that buttery and uh, kind of the richness that you get from regular cookie. I don't taste the like cookie crisps that are in here too much. Don't taste a lot of the chocolate. But it is a decent cookie flavor. Like, uh, I've, the first thing that hit my uh, uh, mouth was this nice buttery flavor, which I assume is probably from the uh, whey protein or milk products that are in there, or maybe a little bit of um, natural flavorings. I think this is the kind of bar that would really benefit from having it, you know, 10 seconds in the mi microwave to uh, soften it up a little bit. All in all, not a bad bar. I'm gonna give it five and a half, six out of 10. Not the best out there, but yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. It is difficult enough to get through. I'm only gonna eat like half of it. Um, and we'll just move on because it's taken too long to chew through that thing. All right, next up, chocolate peanut butter chunk. That actually sounds really tasty. Now this one is much less sticky, much easier to get out of there, and much more pliable. Like, mm. Oh, this is great. <laughs> wow. Chocolate peanut, peanut butter chunk made with real peanut butter. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Really easy uh, to chew consistency. Again, it's very brownie-like. A little bit cakey. Just a little bit grainy. It tastes like it's, or it feels like it's just got a little bit of texture in it. Hmm. This just proves that you can have chocolate and peanut butter in a bar and have it taste amazing. <laughs> Seven and a half out of 10, I gotta say. This is really, really good. Easy to chew, fantastic peanut butter flavor. You know what, eight out of 10, at least. Yeah, this is the one that I'm gonna buy. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is my new go-to protein bar now, I think. <laughs> nice and cost-effective. All right, last up from the Kirkland Signature Bar is the chocolate chip cookie dough. It's a pretty classic flavor. Just about all brands of bars out there have a chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. So it's a good like gold standard for how good a, uh, a brand for a bar is. All right, it's a little bit sticky, a little bit tacky, but not nearly as bad as that cookies and cream bar. So let's dig in. Okay, not quite as soft as a chocolate peanut butter bar. And it is a little bit chewy. You can probably hear me smacking my mouth as I'm uh, getting through this. Hmm. Yeah. So again, it's really buttery. Got a nice rich flavor to it. Really quite good. 
And the chocolate, like there's big chunks of chocolate in here, so of course you get good chocolate flavor. <clears throat> there is this kind of odd flavor on the back end that tastes almost a little bit alcoholic, which I know is very strange. Uh, maybe they're using some vanilla extract in there that's like pushing through a little bit, uh, coming through a little bit strong. It's the only thing I can imagine it is. Uh, it's not super strong, you know, this isn't like uh, taking a shot of tequila or something, but <laughs> it's definitely, definitely cookie dough though. This again, it's really, really good. I think that if you wanted to um, save a little bit of money, you probably wouldn't go wrong going with something like this. So yeah, if you like the chocolate chip cookie dough uh, bars, definitely check these out. At least a seven out of 10. This is really good. Good job, Brooklyn brand. <laughs>
is a chocolate coconut flavored bar. <clears throat> so we have coconut nibs and coconut in here. Ooh, like a deep dark cocoa color on that. It looks like it has shredded coconut in it. Probably not gonna be able to see that on the camera. It's pretty small. Oh, that is, that is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Toasted coconut flavor coming through. Just a little bit of bitterness from that, uh, from the cocoa nibs. And you don't have that unpleasant, like, uh, texture of uh, shredded coconut getting caught in your teeth or anything. Just a little bit of that coconut flavor. Oh yeah, that's, that's really nice. I'm not usually a fan of um, chocolate flavored bars in particular. This is an eight out of 10. Wow. <laughs> Good job, guys. Next up, sticky cinnamon roll, which again, sounds amazing. <laughs> I hope it uh, lives up to its name. Oh my gosh. This feels like even tackier than usual. Like, look at this. <laughs> it looks so sad. <laughs> a little bit gummier than uh, most of the no cow bars, but that means it's gonna be extremely easy to chew. <laughs> I don't know where they came up with sticky cinnamon roll. There's like almost no cinnamon flavor in this. <laughs> Just kind of indistinct sweetness. <laughs> Like, it's pretty inoffensive. It doesn't really taste bad, but it doesn't really taste like anything. <laughs> Maybe it's got a little bit of molasses or brown sugar uh, flavor to it. I don't know. Five out of 10, smack in the middle. I don't know what this thing is. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> All right, one last protein bar. Again, we're going with the donut. This is the chocolate glazed donut <laughs> protein bar. Okay, so this looks like it's just kind of a homogenous uh, chocolate bar. Nothing inside of it. No crisps, nothing like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a great chocolate flavor. Not too bitter, not too sweet. Uh, doesn't taste like a protein bar at all. Give her props for that. I don't know about the glazed donut aspect of this. I don't get any donut at all, but it's a good chocolate bar. Uh, six and a half out of 10. Maybe even a seven out of 10, you yeah. know. Not bad. All right, well, I think I got my protein for the week. If I counted that up right, it was like 270 or 290 grams of protein or something ridiculous like that. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering why I didn't uh, review a specific flavor protein bar, maybe I reviewed it in one of my earlier videos, so you can go ahead and check those out. And I wish you guys a happy new year. And until next time, peace out and you guys take it easy.